If you spend any amount of time at a university, you're sure to hear the phrase, the liberal arts thrown around. Often, people are discussing the importance of a liberal arts education or the value of the liberal arts more generally. Some institutions even describe themselves as liberal arts colleges or universities. So what are the liberal arts and why are so many institutions devoted to them? To get at those questions, we're going to debunk two common myths about the liberal arts. With our help, you'll be correcting your friends and revaluing your education in no time. All right, so myth number one, the liberal in liberal arts must refer to some sort of political commitment. Like there must be a conservative arts out there somewhere. The truth, the liberal in liberal arts doesn't actually have to do with politics at all. The term comes from the classical Greek and Roman traditions of artes liberales, or subjects reserved for quote, free people with enough time and money on their hands to study. At that time, this was definitely only men and not even all of them. Manual laborers and enslaved people need not apply. In the ancient Greek context, there were seven liberal arts, grammar, rhetoric, logic, geometry, arithmetic, music, and astronomy. The idea was that you needed to study all seven in order to be a well-rounded person and that a society led by such people would inevitably be better for everyone that had to live within it. So the liberal arts were important not just for individuals, but for society as a whole. These ideas survive to this day in many places, including Notre Dame. Its mission statement includes that it wants to educate students in all forms of knowledge. All right, so myth number two. If you study the liberal arts, you'll be very smart, but you'll also have no job. We've both heard versions of this from relatives. <laughs> Here's the truth. In education, in the liberal arts, is all about flexible thinking. Now, it sounds cliche to say the top jobs in 10 years don't exist yet, but it's just true. The goal behind the liberal arts is to turn you first into a critical thinker, a strong writer, and a flexible problem solver. That is, in fact, a very highly sought after skill set in the workplace. You just have to know how to sell it. One of the goals of the Sheedy Family Program is to help students articulate the value of a liberal arts education in professional setting. A liberal arts education is also about training you to be more than a good worker. It's about helping you to live a good life. For most people, this certainly includes finding meaningful work and learning how to do it well. But students steeped in the liberal arts will also aim for more than that they will resist conflating their lives with their work. These students will recall, as the ancient Greeks did, that the liberal arts were designed to help us meet not just our most basic needs, but to care for our minds and our souls. Framed like this, the goal might sound a little too self-centered. You spend four years studying a random array of topics just to become a better you. But what centuries of experience have taught us is that this kind of self-cultivation also cultivates the common good. A society of liberally educated citizens is a bold, generous, tolerant, and well-ordered society. Now that we've busted a couple of liberal arts myths, here's one fun piece of trivia before we go. Do you know what's depicted in the seven stained glass windows in O'Shaughnessy's Great Hall? Yep. You guessed it. It's the seven original liberal arts. Check it out next time you're passing through.